What's up, YouTube? This video is going to be about things that irritate the shit out of me. Things that just get under my skin, I guess. And the first one is these people that make YouTube videos and they're eating, which I kind of under. I kind of get it you know you're you're a truck driver or whatever you got a busy day you got to eat when you can me personally I'm gonna eat shower do whatever I gotta do before I make a video but for each their own the thing that bothers me is when they're eating either live or they're making a video or whatever and they smack their lips when they're eating <laughs> I can't handle that shit man I don't know why it just drives me crazy which brings me to Team Tiny and I don't know if Team Tiny is going to see this video if he does he does if he doesn't oh well but I like Team Tiny the guy puts out really good videos you know he's he makes me laugh i love his videos i'm not throwing no shots at the guy or nothing but man tiny if you're watching this video don't eat or drink anything when you're making your videos man because you smack your lips when you eat which drives people crazy i'm not the only person that it drives crazy trust me and you're always sucking on your teeth, buddy. I don't know why you gotta all the time. Where it's like fingernails on a truck board. You know, that are your videos. I know you're probably gonna say if you don't like it, don't watch. Well, guess what? I don't watch, I can't. And it, it makes me mad because I really enjoy your videos, man. You know, I like to see how you're doing i like to hear your little stories of you learning to drive a big truck so when i gotta turn your video off because you're eating something or drinking something and you're smacking your lips and sucking your teeth i get mad <laughs> might be petty whatever but team tiny please stop sucking your teeth in your videos because damn dude that's annoying and the second thing that bothers me when I'm out here on the road is scale houses. Which I know they got a job to do. They're keeping these piece of shit trucks off the road. But what bothers me is when they bring you into a scale house and then they give you the bypass lane. There's probably a reason why they brought you in. They might be checking your DOT numbers as you go by or whatever. I know they have that pre-scale that you go across. And if you're light or something, they give you the bypass. But if you're over a certain amount, they make you pull in the scale and stop. But it takes so much fuel, especially if you're heavy, to get back up to speed. But that's probably petty too, but I can't stand getting a red light to pull into a scale just to get the bypass. It just makes no sense to me. And another thing that probably irritates the shit out of me, actually I know it irritates the shit out of me, is these four wheelers. If you don't drive a big truck and you just drive a pickup truck or a car or something, pay attention. Because this is for you. If you are on an on-ramp and you're trying to get onto a highway, do not do that slowly. Don't gradually get into traffic. You know, if there's a big truck in the right lane, we try to get over in the left lane so it makes it easier on you. But if we can't get in the left lane, don't slowly poke onto the freeway. Hit the gas pedal. You can pick up speed faster than what we can slow down. Get in front of us. 
or if you don't think you can get in front of us because you get scared or something, slow down a little bit, get behind us. But if you see us coming and you slowly merge onto the freeway to where we have to hit our brakes or hit you because we can't get in the left lane because there's cars in the left lane or something, there's a lot of accidents that happen that way. You know, there's probably been people killed because they merged onto the freeway in front of a big truck and the guy couldn't slow down in time and rear-ended your ass. But that's the three things that were irritating me today. Might be stupid. I don't know. Things irritate me all the time. But those are the three things that are irritating me today. And with that, let's get some fuel and some death and head down to Oklahoma and make this delivery. You're watching YouTube with Attitude.
Perry at the Walmart DC in Ochilada, Oklahoma. They did not have an empty trailer for me. So I drove two miles south to go to this little truck stop. And I'm going to squeeze in a 34 hour break because I can't pick up my next load until 8.30 tomorrow evening. And if Walmart doesn't have an empty trailer for me by tomorrow, I don't think I can go pick up my next load. I'm going to Chicago, which is just going to put a wrench in the whole week again. But that's it for this video. If I'm not doing nothing tomorrow, I might make another video. I don't know. Depends on how I feel or what I got going on. But until then, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.